This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. And for whatever God has called us to do, will be done in the spirit of faith. God doesn't give us all the finances for everything we want to do one day. God keep providing for the things he has called us to do, all the things he has instructed us to do. Whatever he has called us to do, or whatever he has instructed us to do, he expects us to trust him. And if we can trust him, we can break the limitation. And yesterday we looked at the importance of trusting God concerning our finances in ministry. David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. David was a person that had a revelation that God is a provider. We look at the life of Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. When the word of the Lord came to him and said, leave your father's house to a land I will show you. Whenever God wants to move you forward, he gives you an instruction. Instruction indicates his will. Instruction indicates his plan. And instruction can lead to provision. Whenever God wants to move you forward, he gives you an instruction. And one of the keys to supernatural provision is rooted in divine instructions. One of the keys to supernatural provision is rooted in divine instructions. My ability to follow God's instruction will make all the difference. My ability to follow God's instruction will make all the difference. If we're going to make a difference in any aspect of our life, it begins with a word from God. And supernatural financing and ministry is directly related to our ability to hear what God is saying and respond in the direction of what he's saying. To hear what God is saying. There is a place of the harvest. There is a harvest with the name of the ministry on it. There is a harvest with the name of your business on it. There is a harvest that God wants you to come into. There is a manifestation that God wants you to experience. And that manifestation will always be consistent with his ways of doing things. So God wants me to have manifestations that can change my experience, manifestations that could empower me, that could help me move in the direction of his will. So God provides by divine instructions. When he tells you to go left, don't tell him left is wrong, I need to go right. Because by going left, you want to find the harvest. When God tells you to go south, and almost everyone you know is going east, just go south. Whenever God tells you to go north, and everybody is going east, you just go north. God provides by divine instructions. Yesterday, we look at, at the act of trusting God. And today, we're looking at that God provides by divine instruction. He will give you an instruction of what to do. He will give you an instruction of what to do. What should I do about this? Or what should I do about that? He will give you an instruction. And that instruction he gives to you have the potential to turn things around. And we have to train ourselves to respond to God's instructions. We need to train ourselves 
to be sensitive to his instruction. Your way out of any situation is an instruction from God. And this is how you experience supernatural provision by following that instruction. By following that instruction. And if we can follow divine instruction, we cannot unlock supernatural provision. If you can follow divine instructions, you can't unlock it. Because the only way you can unlock it is when you make the will of God a priority. When you found the will of God and you stay in the will of God, when you find the will of God and you stay in the will of God, you find the will of God, this is what the will of God is, and you stay in that will. No matter what the situation is going on, no matter what the challenge may be, you find that the will of God, you stay in the will of God. And divine instruction is the foundation for the will of God. Divine instructions are the will of God. What God is telling you, that is his will for you, or his will for that season, or his will for the situation, or his will for that phase of ministry, or that phase of life. So he gives an instruction with an intention that you will obey the instruction. God gives an instruction with an intention that you will obey the instruction. So what is the Spirit of God saying right now to you? Consigning any area of your life or the vision or whatever he has called you to do, he wants you to just obey. Now, I, I look at this scripture in uh, Romans 10.17. Romans 10, 17. Uh, Romans 10, 17. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, and look at what is said here. Very powerful scripture says, So then faith cometh by hearing. The faith for finances come by hearing what God is saying. The faith for supernatural finances, it comes by hearing what God is saying. The faith for supernatural finances, it comes by hearing what God is saying. It's by hearing what God is saying. The faith for supernatural finances comes by hearing what God is saying, whatever God is saying becomes the basis of the manifestation. Whatever God is saying becomes the basis of the manifestation. If I really want to see a supernatural manifestation or supernatural provision, all I've got to do is to hear what God is saying. He said, faith comes by hearing. So when God begins to talk to you or start speaking to you, faith begins to rise in your heart for expectation. Faith begins to rise in your heart for making decision to move in the direction of his provision. Faith begins to rise in your heart concerning making decision to move in the direction of his will. Making decision to move in the direction of his will. I can truly move in the direction of the will of God without first knowing what the will of God is. I can move in the direction of his will without first knowing what his will is. Whatever the will of God is, that is where faith begins. Faith begins where the will of God is known. And faith for receiving begins with what God has said concerning what you're expecting. The faith for receiving begins with knowing what God has said concerning what you expected to receive. So if I have a knowledge of what God is saying concerning maybe a particular area or maybe a particular thing, if, if I have a knowledge of that, if I have a knowledge of that, it leads me into his will. 
it leads me to the manifestation of his glory. So the first thing is to find that what is God saying concerning this? And this is why we need to renew our mind with God's word as we can be sensitive to God's ways of doing things. I have to renew my mind with God's word. How important is that? Because it positions you to make the connection. When your mind is renewed with God's word, it positions you to make the connection. We make the connection when our mind is renewed with God's word. The renewing of the mind is the key to spiritual sensitivity. The renewing of the mind is the key to spiritual sensitivity. The renewing of the mind is the key to spiritual sensitivity. The renewing of the mind. If my mind is not renewed with God's word, it becomes difficult for me to access the will of God. All renewed mind will have a wrong conception. All renewed mind will have a confection that is in opposition to the promises of God. All renewed mind will have a confection that is in opposition to the will of God. All renewed mind. All renewed mind will opposition to the will of God. So it is important for my mind to be renewed as I can have the right kind of confection. My mind has to be renewed for my confection to be in line with the will of God for me to be able to see what God has said concerning the ministry, concerning the future of this vision. I need to be able to renew my mind with God's word to have a declaration that is in alignment with the will of God for us. But if my mind is not renewed, all I'm going to see is limitation. All I'm going to see is the troubles, the problems. Oh, there is no money. There is lack. Oh, there is problem. Oh, we can't do this. Oh, we can't do that. I will always see limitation than have faith to trust God. I will always see limitation. And that is why it's important that we walk by faith. Concerning your finances, it will be by faith. Concerning provision for your vision, provision for your business, for your provision for your ministry, provision for your family, is going to be by faith. He said the judge shall live by faith. It's not going to be by worry. It doesn't matter how I worry about what I'm going through. Worry doesn't solve problems. Anxiety does not solve problems. Depression does not solve problems. Frustration does not solve problems. But trying to lose your mind doesn't solve the problem. The solving of the problem begins with the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And that peace makes its way into our atmosphere when our mind is renewed with God's word. That peace makes its way into the atmosphere of our life as our mind is renewed with God's word, when the mind is renewed with the word of God, that the peace of God comes. The peace of God comes. The peace of God comes. The peace of God comes to empower us, to help us manifest the agenda of heaven. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with or what the situation may be, or what you're going through, that the peace of God. And the peace of God has the potential to sustain the vision. One of the key things that sustains our vision is the peace of God. Maybe there are so many things to do, but the resources are not much. There are so many things to pay for, uh, so many things to do, but the resources is not much. And when the resources is not much, God doesn't want you to say, oh, we don't have enough resources. We can't do that because your confection will decide manifestation. Your confection will decide things that are not in line with his will. And there are a lot of people in the body of Christ today that could have done so much for God, but where they are in faith could not unlock the provision 
required for the vision. Where the iron sage could not unlock the provision that is required for the vision. Where they are in faith. So it is important you are at the right place at the right time. And to be at the right place at the right time, then you need to have a word from God. And that is one of the keys to being at the right place at the right time because you have a word from God. If I have a word from God, it equips me to be at the right place at the right time. Now, we saw here that uh, in Romans 10, 17, it says, so then faith comes by hearing. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That is how faith comes. It comes by hearing. It comes by hearing. So what is the Lord saying? There may be depths all over the place. There may be things to do. But what God is saying will be your way out. That was why I said that supernatural provision can be unlocked by divine instructions. Supernatural provisions can be unlocked by divine instruction. One of the ways we unlock divine instruction is by supernatural provision. It is by supernatural provision we unlock divine instructions by supernatural provision. We unlock divine instruction. That is how it happens. I won't be, able, won't be able to unlock it in our senses because in the natural, there are many things telling us this cannot be done, that cannot be done, this cannot happen. In the natural, you're seeing all of that. And the more you look at the natural, it becomes difficult to trust God. But the more you rely on his word, then the boldness to deal with the situation comes. The boldness to deal with the situation comes when we start speaking the word of God. The boldness to deal with the situation comes when we start speaking the word of God. The boldness to deal with the situation. The boldness to deal what the situation comes but when we start uh, uh, standing on the word, believing that word. So God will give you a word. And what you do with that word will lead to the provision. Now, let's look at scriptures where the word of God came from. Uh, let's look at Luke Gospel chapter 5. We're looking at instructions, that instructions bring supernatural provision. That one of the ways we see supernatural provision is by divine instructions. You get me? Okay. In, in Luke Gospel chapter 5, I want to read from verse 1. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word, to hear the word. This is always one of the first steps in breaking financial limitations. Hearing the word, believing the word, acting on the word. I said one of the key steps in breaking financial limitation is hearing the word, is believing the word, is acting on the word. You hear the word of God. You believe the word of God. You act on that word. You hear the word of God. You believe the word of God. You act on that word. You hear the word of God. You believe the word of God. You act on the word of God. You hear, you believe, and you act on that word. And it is important that we function according to the will of God. Now, he said, the press to hear the word and I like to read from Vex 4. From Vex, okay, from Vex 3 said, Then he got into one of the boats which was Simon and asked him to push, or asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boats. Now, one of the key things you need to know is that there are times you have a need, you have a real need, a financial need. And 
you need money to take care of the situation. But there may be some money with you that you already have. And God may say, can you give that out? And that instruction may not make sense because you're looking for money. And then God is saying, give what you have out. It doesn't make sense. That is why I said, supernatural provision by divine instruction. He will say something. It doesn't make sense. He will say something to you. It doesn't make sense. If you're expecting God to make sense, you'll miss God 99% of the time. If you're expecting what God will say to you to make sense, because it doesn't make sense that I'm looking for $5,000 to pay my bills and I have $500 and the Lord said I should give $400 out. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. In economic or in business management, they will say, keep that. They will say, start looking for more. Then you gather it up to be able to pay your debt of $5,000. But here, we have a different principle. So when he said, give $400 out of that 500 USD, he's actually trying to bring you to a place where you could trust him. And that is why I said that supernatural provision by divine instruction. Supernatural provision by divine instruction. Supernatural provision by divine instruction. Supernatural provision. So God's instruction is your way out of the challenge, the situation. Because the more you look at the situation, it's not going to change. But if you trust what God is saying, you're on your way to change. The more you look at the situation, you're not going to see change. The more you look at the situation, you are not going to see change. The more you look at the situation, you're not going to see change. Maybe, man, this is a mountain. We, we can handle this. This is so difficult. This is very challenging. This is, this is frustrating. This is not going to work out. We don't know how we're going to achieve this. The more we look at the situation, the more frustrating it's going to be. But when you start trusting God, the proof that you're making progress is that you have started believing what God has said and you have started acting on what he has said. The proof that you're making progress begins by believing what God has said and acting on it. That's the progress you've made. You may have not seen physical changes in the natural, maybe changing this area, changing that area. You have not seen any form of manifestation of change, but because you've started believing God, and you've started acting on what he has told you, it means you've started making progress. And if you stay with doing what he has instructed you to do, you are going to come into what is called manifestation. And there are different phases of manifestation. We can have 30 fold, you know, we can have 30 fold manifestation. You've been believing God, trusting God, and now you have 30 fold of manifestation then it moved to 60 fold of manifestation. It moved to 60 fold of manifestation. Then it can now move to 100 fold. Now you can see the, the harvest. Sometimes the harvest is not just 100 fold one time, but we can have 30 fold. We can have 60 fold. We can have 100 fold. So when we believe what God has said and we start acting on it. That's the most important thing. That your progress begins by believing what God has said and acting on it. That's how you make progress. By believing what God has said and acting on it. I believe what God has said. Then I start acting on it. I believe what God has said. I start acting on it. That, that's how you, you break the limitation. So 
supernatural provision comes by following divine instructions. Now look at this scripture before roundup. In in this Luke chapter five, verse four, when he when he had le- when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, "Launch us into the deep and let down your net for a catch." But Simon answered and said to him, "Master, we have toiled all night. We have toiled all night and caught nothing." You know, yes. The, the reason why there are many toiling in people's life can be the absence of their God connection. Can be the absence of their God connection. The absence of God connection could affect the ministry, could affect the vision, and could affect the things God has called us to do. He said, nothing, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. An instruction was given, launch into the deep. He needs some fish. He needs, will liken it to financial miracle or financial provision that he's looking for. And the instruction came, launch into the deep. He said, we have not, we have, we have worked hard all the night. We have labored, but we have caught nothing. They caught nothing because they had no instruction. But now they are having an instruction. And this instruction will bring the provision. The provision will come by instruction. So what is God saying should be the ultimate priority, should be what you should consider, what God is saying. I'm going to hold on to the word of God. No matter what I face, no matter what I'm dealing with, the word of God is going to be the foundation of my faith operation. I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to be depressed. I'm going to maintain an attitude of gratitude. I'm going to maintain an attitude of praise. I'm going to believe God. And because I'm going to believe God, miracles, signs, and wonder is going to happen. You know, that's how great things begin to happen. You hear the word, you believe the word, you act on the word. That's how you make progress. You hear the word of God, you believe the word of God, you act on that word. That action is progress. If you can hear, believe and start acting on it, you have started breaking the limitation. You are on your way to the top. Once you start hearing the word of God, start believing the word of God and start acting on that word, nothing can stop you because you are stepping into an experience that will change your entire world. I'm here this morning to say to you that supernatural provision in ministry or in business or in life will come by divine instruction. This class will continue again tomorrow. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Faithman Teachings on YouTube. And you can watch us every day by going to finishworktv.com. And also you can get our books by going to amazon.com. There is witness in you. And further things you need to know about your future is available on amazon.com. And also want to encourage you to uh, believe in what we're doing. You know, partnership is strategic as we take this message of love around the world. I want to encourage you to consider partnering with what this ministry and what we're doing around the world. You can partner with us by praying for this ministry. That's number one. And number two, by giving whatever financial support the Spirit of God can lead you into. Your giving is an investment, and these investments have potential to transform the lives of others. So if you want to do your giving, you can go to finishworktv.com and slash giving, or you can go to PayPal, it's with my teaching at gmail.com. Thank you for being part of this class. Until I see you tomorrow morning, don't forget this. There is greatness in you, and Jesus is coming soon.